right? But then you had the first estate, they called them estates. The first estate was mainly the clergy. Does anyone remember what clergy refers to? Some of you guys in there were like, yeah, no, no, but some people had asked, and I was like, just like, what does that even mean? Not necessarily. It's a group of people, remember? No, not necessarily royalty. Well, now we wrap this up. So we have this good. Clergy are basically the, the, the people in the church who were part of the church. It would be the priests, the bishops, the cardinals, the pope. Those are all members of the clergy of the church. No, no, you're not correct. Right. No, I'm just telling you what it is. But that being said, I just want you guys to understand what the clergy is. So if you see the word clergy, because you will see it again throughout your life, in your academic career, just remember that clergy refers to those basically those members of the church who run it. You know what I mean? That's the way I look at it. I'm not saying it's a textbook definition. But the second estate, all right, you had the nobles. And you know, remember nobles, you hear about them over and over and over again, all right? That's the people, the rich people on top. You know what I mean? The people at the power, a lot of people, the guys that are involved in banks, they own the banks at this time. The people who all are, a lot of these nobles are tied in with the king and with the clergy, but they're kind of below the clergy. That's important to remember. And then last but not least, we had the third estate at the bottom. Third estate is the peasants. The shopkeepers and craftspeople, this is everybody else is in that third estate, all right? I think that's important to remember that those are the key things. Today, what we're going to be doing is, don't do it yet, but each of you has a full right desk. All the materials you need are in there. There is some, there's two different main things we're going to be looking at. One of them is actual political cartoons. Here's an example of what we're going to be looking at on the projector. And this is a political cartoon of the time. And then also it's going to be written things, like not really long things, I don't want you guys to have to read too much, but there's like maybe a paragraph on some of them of different people. Some of them come from books at that time, primary source, and we're talking about primary and secondary. Then there's also things that are written about things that were written at the time. So my whole point is, what you're trying to do is you're trying to look at the political cartoons, you're trying to look at the little short writings, and you're trying to determine what was, what was going on, why was this revolution, what was these people's problem, why did they want a revolution? France. Because we know that the revolution involved the third estate, all right? That was the peasants, the shopkeeper, and craft people. What you need to know, you don't need a ton of background because we're going to learn about it more throughout the week, but you need to understand that that time period, they were being heavily taxed. The peasants and all that were paying for what they made more taxes than anybody, and the rich people were not being taxed nearly as much. Does that sound familiar to any situation that you know of? Right now? Like right now in our country, like some people feel that way. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but some people feel like the regular people in our country are heavily taxed. What we make, a lot of people feel like the rich people, the really rich, you know, the millionaires and billionaires, which are kind of like the nobles, they, a lot of people feel like they don't get taxed as much. Is that true? I don't know, because I think that there are some of them that definitely do a job, but there are some of them that know how to get around not paying taxes. So that's debatable. But think about that. It's kind of similar to our country. There are people in our country that are so fed up, they're saying, hey, we need a revolution. We need to have a revolution in our country. So I'm not saying I agree with it, but I'm just saying that you should think about that. And there are revolutions more in other countries. Remember we talked about Syria and that whole thing with Assad and all the bombings. We talked about, we spent almost the whole class talking about that bombing that took place in the airstrip. A lot of people, a lot of the people fighting, yeah, in the video that I talked to Mary about, there were a lot of those people who were part of the rebel group, not the terrorists, but the rebel group, they wanted a revolution. They got tired of Assad and his fascist regime. They're like, we don't want it anymore. What's that? The White House. Yes, very good. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that be aware that that's one of the things that we are trying to think of in the future. Can you go ahead and open up your folder real quick? There should be four pieces of paper. If you don't need all the copies of things, it's fine. Don't worry about it. But you should need one copy each for one paper that you can pull out the sources. And these sources that also be colored. Be gentle with the sources because only have one side of each one. So, but. Why don't you go ahead and pass those out to put around the table because there should be four so that if they're next to them, like I said, this will be from the folder. So there will be two primary things we're using today. There should be four copies of each thing. If there's not, let me know and I have a little correct the situation. These, 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 these. See, y'all need one of them? So, remember, there's only one set of sources, and you're all going to be using them at your table, so keep that in mind. 
done to prevent the revolution. Not all of these are going to be super difficult to figure out. Some of them might be a little more challenging. Yeah, this pencil does not want to serve But, and then also last but not least, here, I'm going to get you a new pencil here because this one is not working. And then, last but not least, one thing you might, okay, sorry, we need to reset that. One thing you might think will happen as a result of those causes. Oh, thank you. Good one. So, there we go, I want to make sure you go, there we go. So as you go through it, it'll start to make more sense. Remember, throughout this, if you have any questions, always make sure to let me know, because I'm here to help you. Now please look at the question. It almost looks like a bunch of boxes inside other boxes. So I know, it's so simple, but I want to make sure it's most interesting. That being said, you can look, it has a series of things called SCIM. You don't even know that's an acronym, and fancy way of saying. You can see source description. You see how it's numbered one, two, three, four, and five. The reason I did that is because um, I don't want you to have to fill out one of these for every single piece because I mean, I mean, have one of these. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So essentially, I'm trying to say a little paper. What you're going to do is you can take a piece of um, you can answer it on the back if you want. That's fine with me. Or if you want to use a piece of notebook paper, whatever it's easier for you. Doesn't matter to me. But when you're looking at these sources as a group, what you want to also do is go through and try to answer these questions about each source. If you don't get to every single one, that's fine. But we'll probably do one together so you guys kind of see an idea of what it's going to look like. But I want you to see, look at the questions. Like in the middle, it says source description. You're just describing what it is, all right? For this, I want to look like, is it a political cartoon? For example, this one I would say, hey, it's a primary source, right? Because it's from a time period. That was painted and drawn way back then, and I said it's a primary source political cartoon. That's all I'd say. You don't have to get super, super deep description. And then it says summarizing. What does a source tell us? Why don't we do this one together right now? So source description, you can write on the back number one. I've number one, two, three, four, and five is the way I would do it. Or number one, and then right in there. That's the easiest, most efficient way to do it. You can do it, like I said, right on the back of the box sheet, or you can fill it out, if you write small, you can probably write it right on the box sheet if you want to, and just do a list of each one. It's however you want to do it, whatever is more effective for you. But when it talks about the source description, all right, for number one, for this one, for example, I know some of you might be kind of hard to see, because you don't have all great stuff, but that being said, it is important to know that in the source description, I'll write, okay, it's a primary source, and it's a political cartoon, because you still have them today, right? Yeah, I'll write this down, guys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you want to write it, you can either write it one, two, three, four, five, and we'll just on the back. Because each of these numbers refers to, you know what I'm saying, each one, see what I'm saying? So you'll know that. Or if you want to, you can write small, you can put it in here. But you're going to remember, you're going to have to do more than one of these. That's the whole reason for what I'm trying to say. What's up? Say that 
no, we're gonna do more than one. This is just one example. Do you guys have this picture? You guys are gonna share all the sources, all right? Just so you know. So this is one of the ones everybody has in their Facebook. For that one, yeah. And I'm telling you what, what I'd be looking for. I'd be looking for the primary source and the political party for this one. Not all of them are gonna be political party, but that's pretty simple, right? And it says summarizing. What does the source tell us? Now this is where it gets a little bit harder. For this one, if you think about it, we have our three states. You gotta use your picture tab. You gotta use your tracker, right? You have this person on the ground. I can see this person. This person on all fours who has a blindfold around their head and is looking pretty sickly and pretty tired for obvious reasons. But that being said, who do you think that would represent? If there's three states, there's three people. Right? Yeah, it's the peasant. It could be a peasant shopkeeper crowd. It's one of the people from the third estate, right? Yes, it could be the king right there, right? You can see that this could be a king or maybe a noble from the first estate behind him, all right? And then also, you have right here, this is a big religious cap. This is the clergy, right? So if you see it, they have all three states represented, first, second, and third. First being at the bottom, so you see them distinctly, and the, so that's basically what you're seeing. But what do they tell us, though? I mean, what, what do you think, seeing that, what do you think of? Yeah. Yeah, so they're real, really tired, right? They're carrying the weight of these other people, which is kind of, oh, sorry, one of those things that I would definitely agree with, because if I look at that, but you know what's funny though when I was looking at this? I didn't realize that there was three head front. I, 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 I just, I just I realized that. Yeah. So you can see it's a little open interpretation. So, correction. So, I, I agree because this is the third state that we have right here. I would say right above that would be the nobles, right? And then you got the clergy, and then you're right here. This is the king right here above all. Of these. I mean, but I agree with the bottom line is. Which I totally agree with now is the fact that he's carrying the peasants. Everybody's riding on the peasants. Think about that. So that means that everybody, all the weight, everything, all the stress, all the everything, he's also blindfolded, right? So it's almost like a piece of art. You have to interpret it. But what they're. Yeah. We'll see. Well, the third one is just contextualizing when, why, and how the Bible is produced. So. Oh, it's fake. Yeah, I would agree. That's the third state, right? So, I, I mean, if I was doing this, what does the source tell us? I would say that um, as a political cartoon, you have to write the word for word. You have all four, all four levels of the social structure listed. You can say social, social levels or class levels listed, right? You got one, two, three, all three states and then the king. So they say, well, I would say, what does it tell us, though? So that's the interpretation tells us that everybody that the peasants felt that they were at the very bottom and they were supporting the weight of everyone else. They were dealing with their blindfolded and they're being used by all the other social classes. That's where the psychology comes in because you gotta think about the people, like the peasants and the shopkeepers and like what they must have felt like. If they produced that, I'm sure that was probably how a lot of them felt. Usually political cartoons take kind of the, the tone of like the people. You know what I mean? So when it talks about um, when, why, how is the source produced, um, when, I would say, um, let's just keep it simple. I'd say just before just before the French Revolution. I don't want you guys don't need to know a specific year. So why and how is the source produced? Why? I would say why would be to show how um, unhappy the third estate was. And then it talks about like, well, how was the source produced? Well, I would say that it was produced. It was a political cartoon, sorry. Made for all of the people to see. Let's keep this simple. Yeah. <laughs> For when, why, and how? 
read this morning. You want to make sure you don't miss them. So, teachers, please do read your email at this time. Guys, remember the week field trip, you will know you are on You're on the bed club, yeah.
Yeah, you're already all done. Um, started. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
similar. Maybe this is an actual military unit. Maybe you guys have the swords. So these parts are normal. This is part of the Yeah. 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 Finish up with your own. I want you to finish up real quick. We want to make sure we can get a piece of the content. Yeah, that's fine. I know there's a lot of them, guys. It's better to have too many than not enough, you know? I don't know what to do, but we can find the library.
good idea. Why don't you go ahead and put the sources actually back in the folder? It's okay. I mean, if you're in the middle, it's fine. We only got so much time. So we'll worry about it. Yeah, all the papers are on. I want you to keep anything you wrote on. No, 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 don't put your papers up. I just wanted you to put the sources back into the color board. Just hold on to it. We're going to go over and use it real quick. Okay. For example, when we're talking about this, what is the overall feeling that you guys got from, if, if you look at all these, all these, I know they're different sources. Some are written, some are like pictures, but there was an overall vibe, an overall you know what I'm saying? That we're trying to get to. And can anybody be using the words? You're not that to be super complex with this, but what is really going on in the house of the revolution? They're getting walked all over, right? But what was one of the ways that they, they felt like they're getting walked all over? Yeah, it's taxation, right? That was a really big part of it. They felt like they were having to pay all these taxes when all the other rich people were going to just put it on simple terms. They weren't having to pay nothing. That would make me, that would make me mad, too. And that's something for our country to feel like that's going on somewhere. Whether or not it is, I don't know. But some people feel that way. What else? Yeah, that's true. Yes, very good. Chris is saying there's a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, a lot that he felt that the third state was having to deal with. You gotta remember, think about this in the third state. We're talking about peasants. Peasant is actually another word for farmer. A lot of times you think about peasants all well, but technically, in history, peasant actually means farmer. Then you had the shopkeeper, so that's all the people running all the shops, and then the craftspeople, that's all the people who make stuff. So think about this. That's the biggest amount of people. That's kind of like us. There's the biggest amount of people, us. The super rich people and all that stuff, there's very few of them in our country. So my whole thing is they felt like they were carrying the whole burden. They felt like they had to deal with all the stress. They were doing all the work. They were doing carrying the burden of the entire society. So what I want you to do is real quick go through the three two one processor and see if you can figure out. I'm just dealing with the three causes. It's a little difficult because we really focus on one. So I want you to do is just focus on that one, the one main cause that you can take away that you can take from that, and then try to work down for the other two and see if you can answer them. Just do your best. If you can't, it's okay, but I want you to give an effort on it. And then just to see if we can figure it out what's going on. No, no, no. Just what's the overall thing? The overall, yeah, the overall. From everything you've been reading.
Yeah, most of them sell through Last Spot and Caravans. So pack it up here in a minute or two. So let's make sure what everybody's going to file, we'll make sure you guys understand. If we're talking about the Pine Revolution right now, we're just thinking about the beginning. What was causing it? What was going on? What was the feeling? To have a revolution or a revolution begin, there's generally things that are people are very simple to think about. There's people generally at the lower class who are unhappy about something that happened. Usually involved in government or a dictator like Assyria or Assad. I mean, the fascist dictator that oppresses people. So, well, I want you guys to understand revolutions happen throughout the country. I guarantee you there's going to be more in the future. When you guys are my age, like there's going to be revolutions all throughout the years in different countries all over the world. You know, some of them are good, some of them are bad, most of them are going to be violent. There are very few revolutions that ever run. Um, I mean, that are not have at least some level of violence. Okay, one second. But, so what I want you to do is go ahead and make sure your name is on both pieces of the paper that you worked on. We are supposed to work all the way through, but it's okay. We're, we're out of time, so make sure your name is on both pieces of paper. Remember, please make sure all the sources are back in the folder. Yeah, I'm going to collect them from you. Because when I saw most of you guys doing a great job and trying to fill it in, you guys deserve credit for your effort. It's okay. So I just want to see what you have. I'm more concerned about effort than I am about, at least for this assignment, not over. Let's see what all you guys I'll come around and pick them up for you guys. And once I have your work, why don't you go ahead and start lining up? Hold tight a second, guys. Once again, we were on time, everybody else.